obviously my domain uh, has three Nobel Prizes so that is uh, physics, chemistry and the medicines. These three I am going to discuss with you. Hmm. So, let us start with the Nobel Prizes. The first one I am going to discuss is the Nobel Prize in Medicine. See the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to Catalin Carrico. and Drew Wiesman, huh, Drew Wiesman and the work they got the Nobel Prize was basically about the mRNA vaccine, mRNA vaccine. As you all know this mRNA, hmm, what is mRNA? Like uh, the DNA is read uh, by the mRNA through the process of transcription then from messenger RNA. So, this is it is it is this is how it goes DNA uh, to messenger RNA then to transfer RNA then to ribosomal RNA and then we have the proteins. Huh? So, that is uh, that is huh? uh, that is uh, how it works. So, messenger RNA obviously this process we call as transcription transcription and the synthesis of the protein is known as translation hmm, is known as translation so see this messenger rna vaccine uh, is the latest approach uh, in this uh, field latest it is the latest technology. Hmm. So, sir, phir kya hua isme? Dekho, hua kuch nahi hai. Kya hua ye hai bas mila kar. Ek unhone vaccine banaya. So, before uh, I discuss the things with you, see this vaccine uh, mRNA one, we are using in case of COVID-19, yes. It has been used against Zika, yes sir, Zika. It has been used in MERS, MERS is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, hmm, which was the precursor of COVID, which was the precursor of COVID and it has been used for pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer. So, in Nobel Prize diya kyo? Corona ki vaccine ke liye diya or iska significance kya hai? What is the significance of this approach? See, it goes this way. Dekho, mein paas dono model hai. Maggi noodle model bhi hai, jaysa mein kehta hoon aur Indian cuisine bhi hai. Mein hamesha se Indian cuisine ka fan raha hoon. So, mein usi tarah se padha hoonga. Carrico and Wiesman. Carrico and Wiesman, what they did? They synthesized messenger RNA. So, they synthesized uh, messenger RNA, but when this messenger RNA which was synthesized in lab, huh, which was synthesized in lab was used, was used. So, what happened that they took the poor fellow, you all know what is poor fellow rat huh? and when they injected this messenger RNA in the rat, if it, so the rat died. Now, you are surprised that this is how it is made in the lab, we have put it in or immunological response hua, there was inflammation in the body and uh, the animal on which it was tested died. So, then what they did? They took the mRNA from the mammals, mammals, from the mammals. But when from the when the mRNA from the mammals was injected in some other organism, hmm, fine. So they found this time there was no adverse reaction. There was no adverse reaction. So they were like, "What is going on here? Come on, what to do?" So then, so then they compared they compared the in vitro RNA and in vivo RNA, 
in vivo means nature, in vitro means lab, is not it, which I am presuming you know that. And what they found and they found, they observed that in vivo mRNA has slightly different uracil. You know RNA has uracil. So, they found that the mRNA which was taken from the mammal, the mRNA of that mammal differs from the mRNA uh, made in the lab and primarily and the difference was in the uracil part of the mRNA and then what they did? They modified uracil at the same place, same place. Okay, fine. At the same place. This is this this is one thing they have done. This is one thing they have done. Another part, another part. But sir, Nobel Prize diya kyun kya? Because because the messenger RNA, one more part, gets destroyed after it is. Uh, read by transfer RNA. So, it does not remain in our cell, it does not remain in our cell. Whereas, in the other cases the uh, they it will remain in the cell. Another part, another reason mRNA cannot attach itself with the host uh, DNA. You all know DNA is double helical, mRNA or RNA is single helical, they cannot, hmm? they cannot attach, they cannot pair. So, these are like uh, certain things we need to know about it. Now, in that, you now listen here, but still, why the Nobel Prize has been given? Why? See, the Nobel Prize has been given for the simple reason the mRNA approach. allows us to change the vaccine, to change the vaccine with the change in the genetic makeup of the virus means as soon as the virus changes, virus changes now we all know that virus the new variants of the virus keeps on emerging like the latest corona variant has been J and point 1 hmm, has been the latest corona variant. Huh? So, how do we know that this way this is a new variant of the corona or it is the same variant of uh, Corona actually we identify the variants are identified through through genome sequencing through genome sequencing. What is genome sequencing? Is studying the genetic material, huh? Like in Corona, the genetic material is RNA. So, as everybody knows, example, India is having a program called INSACOG. INSACOG is Indian SARS COVID Genomics Consortium. Indian SARS COVID Genomics Consortium. 
it is an initiative of the ministry of health and family welfare where we study the genetic material of the coronavirus so through this initiative like in sakog in india and different countries have different names for such initiatives we can find out the variant so accordingly what happens as soon as there is a change in the rna of the virus we can change our rna which we are using as the vaccine this is flexibility is something is something uh, uh, which is unique which is unique and another part about this vaccine has been this mrna approach is uh, that this was given to the patients who were having pancreatic cancer and generally in few months two three months uh, the pancreatic cancer patient has the relapse relapse means uh, the cancer comes back but here in half of the patient there was no relapse even after 18 months so sir or ma'am with due respect with due respect to your knowledge it was not given for corona vaccine it was given for messenger rna approach and the the, the biggest breakthrough will be that probably we will be having the vaccine against the cancers and wonderful wonderful if that happens amazing so this is mrna clear